Hey there, welcome to this lesson. We are going to study physical chemistry and under physical chemistry, the topic is quantum chemistry. The contents of this lesson are, first of all, we will see what is quantum mechanics, the role of quantum mechanics in chemistry, failure of classical mechanics, and we will see the basis of quantum mechanics. And finally, we will see the whole summary of all the topics we have covered. Now, in this lecture, the topic to be learned are understanding the basis of quantum mechanics, understanding its role in chemistry, learning about the origin of quantum mechanics, why it was invented. Next, Identif identifying the phenomena responsible for failure of classical mechanics and we will also appreciate the importance of quantum mechanics. Now, let us cover the first topic that is what is quantum mechanics. So, quantum mechanics is a theoretical science of microscopic matter. What are microscopic matter? Electrons and nuclei in atoms and molecules are called microscopic matters. Now, the quantum mechanics gives the laws of motion of microscopic objects. As you know that the classical mechanics gives the laws of motion of microscopic object. Similarly, microscopic objects laws of motion are given by quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanic is the greatest intellectual development of 20th century. Quantum mechanic is a science which take both particle and wave character of matter into consideration. Wave character is also called dual behavior. Quantum mechanics is made up of two words, quantum plus mechanics. The term mechanics refers to the science of motion of the body. Mechanics word comes because we are dealing with motion of the particle. The other word quantum, it is a Latin word for amount and in modern convention it is used to represent the smallest possible discrete unit of any physical property. So that's why quantum plus mechanics makes quantum mechanics which deals with the laws of motion of microscopic objects. Now with this discussion the following question might arise in your mind. What is quantum mechanics? The role of quantum mechanics in chemistry? Its origin? What are its fundamentals? And what are its application? So in this lesson we are going to cover all the aspect of quantum mechanics. Now we have understood what is quantum mechanics. Now let's study the role of quantum mechanics in chemistry. Quantum mechanics has found application in all the fields of science, which is chemistry, biology, physics and other integrated fields. Quantum chemistry applies fundamentals of quantum mechanics to problems in chemistry. Quantum chemistry explains theoretical structure, bonding, and reactivity in chemical entities. The influence of quantum chemistry is evident in all branches of chemistry. Some important areas of chemistry where quantum mechanics is used are as follows. Physical chemistry so physical chemistry applies the result of quantum mechanics to calculate thermodynamic properties, molecular properties, all for bulk matter via statistical mechanics. Organic chemistry. It utilizes quantum mechanics to estimate the relative stability of molecules, to calculate properties of reaction intermediaries, to investigate the mechanism of chemical reaction, and to analyze NMR spectra. Similarly, analytical chemistry also uses quantum mechanics. 
It uses spectroscopic methods extensively, which stems from fundamental of quantum chemistry. All the spectra are understood and interpreted via thorough understanding of the basics of quantum mechanics. Inorganic chemistry utilizes ligand field theory, which is an appropriate quantum mechanical method, which is used to predict and explain the properties of transition metal complex ions. Entire atomic structure comes from quantum mechanics, orbitals, shape of orbitals, bonding, etc. Biochemistry, where quantum mechanical studies on biological molecules, enzyme, substrate, binding, etc., have been carried out successfully. Now you should know that quantum mechanics gives the properties observable of single particles or the entity. Statistical mechanics gives the properties of bulk matter. It is clear to you, quantum mechanics gives the properties observables of single particles or the entity, but statistical mechanics gives the properties of bulk matter. To study the bulk properties of one mole of hydrogen gas, for example, the quantum mechanical results are taken as an input in a statistical mechanics where some sort of a statistical average over the entire system gives the bulk properties. This is possible because the basic rule governing the motion of each molecule in the gas is same and follows quantum mechanical principle. Therefore, we use quantum mechanics as an input in statistical mechanics in order to study the statistical average of the bulk system. Now, we have seen that different branches of chemistry uses quantum mechanics. So, we can say that quantum mechanics explain SBR of chemistry taking into account the role and behavior of electrons. This field it revolves around studying and interpreting the behavior of electrons. All the chemical problems are solved quantum mechanically with rigorous examination of electrons and their behavior in the respective environment. Indeed, Quantum mechanics has had great success in providing a general theoretical framework for chemistry. Now, we have seen the role of quantum mechanics. Now let's study the failure of classical mechanics. After studying the failure of classical mechanics, you will be able to know about the origin of quantum mechanics. Till the end of 19th century, classical or Newtonian mechanics was considered to be the only right and undisputed theoretical science. But soon, some new experimental phenomena were observed, which could not be explained by classical mechanics. This includes black body radiation, photoelectric effect, Compton effect, atomic spectrum, heat capacity of solids. Now let's study these phenomena one by one. First is black body radiation. So a black body is an idealized physical body that absorbs and emits radiation of all the frequencies. Classical mechanics gives an equation which describes the intensity of black body radiation as a function of wavelength lambda frequency for a fixed temperature. The result is known as the rayleigh genes law. Here the rayleigh genes law formula is given where k is Boltzmann constant, lambda is wavelength and t is the temperature. Although rayleigh genes law 
works for higher wavelengths but fails to correctly reproduce experimental trends at shorter wavelength and this divergence for low wavelength is called the ultraviolet catastrophe. On 14 December 1900, Max Planck at the meeting of German Physical Society proposed an equation similar to the Rayleigh genes equation to explain black body radiation with an adjustable parameter h. The formula is given here. Now, Planck found that for h 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule, the experimental data could be reproduced. Planck was able to derive this formula by assuming that the energies of the oscillation of electrons which gave rise to the radiation were proportional to integral multiple of the frequencies. That is, E is equal to NH nu, where N is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 or so on. So here, nu is the frequency of radiation and h is Planck's constant. The limitation of energy to discrete values is called the quantization of energy. This was the first use of notion of quantization of energy. Quantization refers to a situation where physical quantities like position, energy and momentum can have only certain discrete values. Radiation consists of discrete packets of energy called quanta and it is the basic unit of electromagnetic radiation. So why the phenomena was misinterpreted by classical mechanics? This is because classical mechanics considered an electromagnetic radiation solely wave phenomena. However, Planck held that radiant energy is made up of particle-like components known as quantum along with wave picture of radiation. Planck was not considered seriously then. Planck spent years trying to fit his formulas into classical theories, but physicists did not take this energy quantization idea seriously until Einstein invoked a similar assumption to explain the photoelectric effect. Planck proposed that energy can be transferred only in the discrete amount. So this was one of the phenomena due to which the classical mechanics was considered as a fail so thank you so much for watching this video in next video we will cover all the phenomena responsible for the failure of classical mechanics thank you for